Har G Sanamko, thank you very much for supporting my YouTube channel. We are traveling around the country. I'm in a train journey. Today I'll be asking my fans, I'll be asking people who are around me, my fellow citizens in Tanzania, how do they understand things about India, regions that are found in India, the economics, the politics, anything that they find in India. For me, the first thing that was always coming in my mind before I joined YouTube and gained the subscribers from India, whenever someone talked about here, I thought about the health safe facilities, the having good doctors so when we talk about india in general without separating any kind of region in india i always like to to, to bless india with a lot of thanks to those to the people who are working in the healthy sector you are really doing a lot because i started thinking about india for the first time when people fell sick and they are transferred to india so india is good at healthy sector and i really love it and i really appreciate what they are doing I had to record this because I did not talk to anyone, but I think I'll be continuing this vlog. I think I should talk to some people, ask them, what do you think about India? When someone talks about India, what really comes into your mind? So guys, see you another time. I'll try look for people around and see if we can get people to ask what do they understand when they hear India. And this is for you, my subscribers. These are messages for you, my subscribers. You really need to understand. What do people think about India when they hear India in Tanzania or in any part of Africa? So, see you around. Johar, Jisanamko, thank you and bye. Welcome to another episode, Ucoms Media. I told you as I briefed you before, I will be asking my friends and people who are around me, what do you think when it comes to India? What do you think, what comes into your mind when you hear about India? Thank you. What's your name? My name is Kairat Ibrahim. Her name is Kairat. What do you think about India? What, what, what comes into your mind when you hear about India? Indian language, but in Tanzania, speak Swahili language. She has just told me that all, what she only knows is that uh, India, Indian people speak Hindi, but in Tanzania we speak Swahili. Anything else you have ever heard about India? I don't have anything about India. What do you say about India? India is from India. Yes, it's from India. Do you know what? Asia, but I like. Uh, what do you, what do you, what do, you, what comes into your mind? How would you get to the coast of India? My God! So it was only one thing. She knows that in India people speak Hindi, and opposite in our country people speak Swahili. So let's move on and see if we shall get another person. Asante sana kwa muda wako. Asante. Message yoyo te kwa tumia wa Tanzania nzako kama wa Hindi udio chochote kuhusu wa Hindi. Send any message to Indians about your country. I What are you telling Tanzanian people? Tanzanian people. Mm. Tanzania is watching. This is YouTube. Tanzania is watching. Wewe unaambia nini? Yeah. Wao wabunifu vitu mbalimbali. She's talking about creativity. That's the message she's sending to Tanzanians. Thank you for your time, my friend. Thank you. Wow. Welcome to another episode. Today I met my friend. What's your name? My name is Ekin This is Frederick. So I have a question for you, Frederick. What do you think about India? India. What comes into your mind? India. Yes. What is India? India is a country with white people. A country with white people? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> what do you think about India? India? Something very interesting or cultural, beneficial, something that you can advise them. Anything you really understand about India? India, like chambu. What is chambu? Chambu is uh, like a food. Is a food. So there is a certain kind of food called chambu. Uh, chambu. Made of what? Pilipili <laughs> nyingi. <laughs> it's made out of pilipili. So come back, come back. Shoot him, come back. <laughs> come back. So it is made of hot pepper. Uh, hot pepper. Pilipili is called hot pepper. Ah, yes. Okay. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Uh, so, something else apart from food made with a lot of hot pepper, what do you understand about India? India. Yes. When you hear any, anyone saying anything about India, what comes into your mind? India, India is a poor country. India is a poor country. Yeah. More than Tanzania. More than Tanzania. <laughs> Why are you saying India is poor than Tanzania? Ah. When I'm saying about India, Differentiates Tanzania. Tanzania is a rich country. It's a many potential areas. We have many potential areas more than India. Ah, uh, yeah, more than India. 
Mo, 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 mo. So, my friends, he was just trying like to tell me something I was thinking about. Tanzania can never be greater than India according to economics, but we are trying to get better from day to day. So, see you around. He has just expressed his views. Uh, India ha makes food with a lot of hot pepper, uh, with other things. So, join my journey in another e next e episode talking to another person how people really do understand India in Tanzania. So, see you in another episode. Bye. Welcome to another episode. This is another person. We'll be introducing himself, but we'll be using Kiswahili. I will do the subtitles for you. We're asking only one question. What do you think about India? What do you think about Tanzania? Karibu sana mzawangu. Unaitwa nani? Mimi naitwa Mikael Fukunyi Mwaka. Unaitwa Mikael Fukunyi Mwaka. Unafanya shughuli gani hapa? Mimi ni Hapa ni hapa ni wapi kwanza? Hapa ni Huma. Hapa ni Huma. Wewe unafanya shughuli gani? Mimi ni mkulima. Wewe ni mkulima wa nini? Ni mkulima wa biashara ndogo ndogo, mkulima wa wa shambani. Sawa sawa. Eh, kama ni kuli, kama mahindi, kama nyanya chungu, bilinganya au au ndimu haswa haswa mimi ni mtu ambaye ninapenda biashara ya ndimu na kipindi cha ile ya udani sawa sawa e, una watoto una familia na familia na watoto wengi na na wajukuu mzee wangu dunia yote inakuangalia eh hey. Tuma ujumbe, wa, tuma ujumbe wako kwa watanzania watanzania wanakusikiliza yes. dunia nzima inakutazama unataka watanzania wasikie nini kutoka kwako kutoke hapa yumo ndio kutoke hapa yumo ndio hebu hebu kwanza izime kidogo okay paul welcome back again in our episode so he, we are we are having a little short time but tunaendelea mzee wangu karibu watumie watanzania ujumbe wote unaofikiria wewe watumie watanzania message yoyote wakusikiliza Watanzania wenzangu mimi naomba ili kusudi tupate msisimko wa kutafuta vitu na kina mama mnaweza mkaja yote anaenda kushiriki ku, kuishi katika mila na desturi kwa sababu sisi sasa hivi tumekuwa na ukame ambao hatuna yani ajira kamili Kwa hiyo lazima tufanye kazi kwa nguvu na kujitegemea ili kusudi tu, tuishi binadamu. Eh, kola wa mako ni ukame. Kola wa mangu mimi ni ukame na chakula imekuwa sio. Imekuwa yani chakula bei ya gari sana tunashindwa binadamu kuishi. Ujumbe yani, wako kwa Watanzania wenzako ni ujumbe gani unaotaka? Yani Watanzania wenzangu kwa mfano naweza nikasema hivi yani tujitahidi kadiri ya uwezo ili kusudi tu kabiliane na maisha. Nashukuru sana. Hizi shughuli za ufinyanzi unazielewa vizuri? Tunaomba kifaa kimoja cha kufinyanga umpe. Ah, mimi si sizielewi vizuri. Mimi hizi shughuli vijana wanapotengeneza hivi unazielewa vizuri? Mimi sizielewi vizuri bali mimi ni mfanyabiashara wa ndimu na pilipili na nyachungu na bamia. Wanaoshiriki hizi biashara ni watu wa aina gani? Ni wa, wanawake ambao ambao wako nyumbani. Wanatumia bidhaa gani? Wanatumia tu vitu vya vya vi asili vya kutengenezea. Udongo. E, udongo na na kama vile utaalamu wa kuwa mimi nitengeneze kitu. Yaani anajiongeza. Ina thamani ya kiasi gani kwa mfano hii? Kwa mfano kama hii hapa ina thamani ya shilingi 2000 au 2500. 2000 au 2500. Eh yeah. Sawa sawa na dola moja basi mzee wangu mimi nakushukuru sana. Ulishai ulishai kusikia kitu kinaitwa au taifa linaitwa India. India ndio. Nasikiaga lakini sijawahi kukwenda. Kitu gani ushai kusikia kwamba India huwa kinatokea au kitu gani chochote unakijua kuhusu India? Hapana, kweli siwezi kusema uongo. Unajua kitu chochote kuhusu India? Eh. Hey. karibu sana kwenye ukurasa wangu. Nashukuru sana. Hey. Wa Tanzania watapata ujumbe wako kama ulivyoeleza. Yeah. Ukame umekuwa mkubwa. Kwa watu wafanyeje? Yaani naomba tufanye maombi tufanye yani, nini yani tu tufanye maombi ili kuhusu binadamu tuweze kuishi kwa tufanye maombi eh hey. unashauri wa Tanzania wafanye Mina, maombi yani nashauri wa Tanzania yani tufanye maombi kwa nguvu sana aisee nashukuru mvua inyeshi aisee nashukuru sana na sisi tuishi
I say asante sana kwa muda wako. Haya asante sana. Asante. Yeah. Johari Jisa na mko, welcome to another episode. Uh, I have a very special person, a person who will give us an, a conclusion to our topic for today and we will continue asking this question to as many people as we can. So today I have a friend who I really want you to see. I just want you to enjoy his vision, his company. He will introduce himself. Welcome my friend. What's your name? Jina lako ni nani? Naitwa Ngatayani Nditi. Unaitwa Ngatayani Nditi. Una umri wa miaka mingapi? Na umri wa miaka 30. Una umri wa miaka 30. Unaishi wapi? Unaishi Kilosa. Unafanya shughuli gani Kilosa? Mm. Wewe ni mfugaji? Unafuga nini? Ngombe, mbuzi, kondoo, punda. Unaelewa kitu gani kuhusu India? Waambie watu kutoka India. Unaelewa kitu gani kuhusu taifa la India? Bye. 